All right, welcome back. We are in the car driving to, uh, I'm not really sure where we're driving actually. We're just kind of going. Uh, we are going fishing. Not sure like what the move is right now at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're trying to catch musky and rainbow trout today. Those are the two goals. Musky and rainbow trout and walleye and bass and I guess that's it. So don't know where we're going right now. We'll see where this goes. All right, we're at the first spot here. I'm bringing a walleye rod and a musky rod. All right, let's go see what happens. All right, so yeah, this first spot, I'm just going to go back and forth between, you know, jigging for walleye and plugging for musky. Took like 30, 40 casts for musky. Got no bites, so taking some casts with the walleye jig. And we're going to just fish this for a little while, not too long. If nothing's happening, we'll move. Go try somewhere else. There's a fish. Decent fish. Definitely like decent. We got 10 pound fluoro. 10 pound main line. What do we got? What is that? Bass. Oh. Rough fish. Quillback. Snagged a quillback. Yeah, that's something different. That's my first quillback 2018. It's a unique species of fish that don't see too often. Show them to you. It's like kind of like a call them rough fish. Call them a quillback because of this dorsal they've got and I snagged them. That's like a proper size quillback right there. Nope. There it goes. Ooh, you got me pretty good. That's a start. Alright guys, the river was no good. No bites. Probably spent too much time there. Did get one quill back, you know, so it wasn't a total loss. But now we're going to go trout fishing. Feeling like musky fishing today. I don't know. Maybe we'll try again after we trout fish. But for now, yeah, let's go. To, let's go to the valley. Let's see if we can uh, catch some rainbow trout. All right, guys, change of plans. I was gonna go trout fishing, but now I'm gonna go down to the shore instead and do some striper fishing. Oh, we're gonna stop at this Wawa though. Pretty much, it sounds like there's a decent bite with. Uh, some bass on the beaches mostly small bass but I don't know it's been a really dry fall for surf fishing there hasn't been like a very good striper bite on the beaches and I've caught maybe five or six or seven like rat bass this fall from the beaches and that's pretty pathetic so today we're just gonna go down there and I'm gonna get a coffee and a bagel and continue on this quest all right here we are let's see 10 pound braid and the light jig gets us here there's definitely we're definitely gonna catch something I know there's sundials out here you know like little these little species of flounder I know there's a lot of sundials I know there's like small bass let's see what we catch yeah no bites yet I don't know fished a lot of uh, Good looking water and it looks pretty dead so I don't know we're gonna move around we're gonna go try somewhere else there's a fish all right first bite all right we're at a different spot we came to a different spot I don't know I saw these cormorants sitting on the water here Up. Feels like a little bass. He's not even really doing much. He's kind of just coming right in on light tackle. No, it's not. It's not that good today. I don't know. I'm chasing some BS reports. That's what came down here. I got down here and I'm kind of pissed. Kind of pissed that I drove here. I wish I had just stuck with the trout, but that's what I'm saying now. I don't know. That's our first bass. Definitely small. 
bass on the uh, the jig. Oh, first bass off the beach in a while. Let him go. Hopefully there's more. All right, well this is pretty beat. I got one small fish. I don't know. Probably gonna go check a couple other spots, but. All right, new spot. This spot looks the best yet. There's actually like birds working in close. And we're just gonna start fishing here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, I just got a call from a buddy who uh, I happen to run into like every time I'm chasing bites here. My buddy Dave, he just got here. He's gonna be out here in a minute. And then I'm watching this guy down the beach with me walk off the beach just now with like a small fish. He looks like he caught a small fish and he's walking back to his car. Potential poacher. He could have a bonus tag and like could be like a legal like slot fish, bonus tag fish, I don't know. But we'll keep an eye on things here. So far no bites, but there's birds, there's bait. Right. Oh. That time. All right, second fish. <laughs> this fucking rod, it's like 10 pound braid. <laughs> yeah. Rat, it's a rat. That was close, it's actually a pretty nice fish, it's almost short. Yeah. Something. You were up here Sunday morning? Yeah, I saw some yakers out there. Yeah. That's when they were out, yeah. Sun yeah. No, I wasn't going. Oh. Yeah. This one's smaller. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, with the sand eels. All right, two fish on two casts right there. Oh no, this is the jig I'm using. Three eighth ounce. These fish are eating sand eels. I don't know, this thing kind of mimics a sand eel pretty well. A lot of guys are throwing metals right now. You know, that's good too. But I don't know if these fish are that picky. They might be. If they're eating sand eels, they might be picky. They're all fat. Oh, this is a 2500 size Saros, Shimano Saros. And then there's an 8 foot 6 noodle rod by Shimano. This is what I use like in the tributaries for steelhead salmon. What I've been using for like trout. It's like my trout rod. And uh, it's light. I got 10 pound braid on here. There was one. That was on a parallel to the shore cast. Right there. If I was in the Delaware River right now, I'd be like, oh yeah, nice fish. But we're on the beach and the stripers. He's nice for the small rod. Light tackle fun. Fun on light tackle. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's a fat, short. Probably my nicest of the day. Yeah, no, it's like a. That's the Kai Tech. In the mouth. Definitely chomped it. Get my pliers here. Alright, yeah. You know, that's what we're working with. It's not bad. I will take it. That was a good one. Good on like tackle. All right. Whoa. Dang. Okay. Okay. Here we go. That was next cast. Casting parallel to the beach now. I think these fish kind of just moved in. As we're getting towards dusk here. 
Yeah, on light tackle, it's definitely, definitely the move here. I was pissed when I got down here, honestly, but I took a chill pill, took some time, and found some fish. So. Yeah, yeah, it's something to catch. Oh my god. Yeah, they came in, came right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bite turned on. Dave got a fish. We got a nice little fatty over there. Five, six pounder. We're just gonna wrestle him on this light tackle. These are better fish that just came in. Dang, I can't even get them up to the beach. These fat shorts. Once I can grab the leader, I got 25 pound floral on here, so I know that's not breaking. Just gotta grab that leader. Oh yeah, dude, that's a nicer fish. All right, yeah, okay, now this is proper. Proper stuff going on right here. On the boat? Yeah, I'll be fighting it till dark if it's a 20 pounder. Oh, this is a shad. <laughs> That's not even a bass. <laughs> right. Hickory shad. Yeah. This one was right on the beach lip. Yeah. These fish were definitely thick at this point. This was definitely the height of my day, you know, the height of the action. Uh, I was getting bit almost every cast for probably, I don't know, half hour uh, before it slowed down. Right. Tonight, uh, I had my bike. They were driving me crazy. The parallel to beach cast is producing. Yeah, definitely fat. I guess this is what we've been waiting for. The eel anchovy anchovy. Yeah. Oh, no. Another piece, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, this was the only day of 2018, the fall surf season, that I went down to the Jersey Shore to fish for striped bass off the beach. This was the only day. And the only reason I didn't go more often is because it was a bad fall. All right, this fishery is shot. All right, Dave has been fishing, the guy I'm fishing with right here, he's been fishing these same beaches for like 20 plus years. Dave knows it's shot. I know it's shot. Most of the striper community knows it's shot. Um, you know, this is supposedly the last run of fish. This is 50 degree water. These are the same rats and schoolies that come in at the end of every season. Usually they signify the end of the season. They'll stick around a while, but usually they're the last wave of fish to push down from the north. And, you know, this year it was the only wave of fish that we got. You know, on the beaches. It was the only way. There was no, like, nicer class of fish that came through. All those fish stayed offshore. You know, the biomass is shrunken from what it was 10 years ago, and it's not showing any signs of improvement. You know, people say, like, oh, all these small bass around, that's good for the future, you know. 
which on the one hand, yeah, it is good that we have these small fish around because they'll grow and eventually get bigger, but it's, it's like how fast are they going to get caught and killed? They're going to get caught and killed before they ever reach 25 pounds, most of them. I don't know. All right. Sorry to bring this negative light into play here, but like the fishery, the fishery is not good. It's not good. This is not good. Like this is good striper fishing for 50 degree water, but this is not good striper fishing for peak Jersey fall run surf fishing. And you haven't seen any kayak videos past fall because I didn't launch my kayak this past fall because the fleets of boats were just completely outrageous. It's like a joke out there being on the ocean, you know, in November anymore. It's just like too many boats, too many people, not enough fish. And, uh, it's, you know, I've, I've moved on to other things. I'm not, I'm not pursuing these fish much these days. These striped bass are not, are not worth the time and effort. You know, you're not supposed to have to fish for a month to catch a keeper. You know, that's just not how it is. But anyway, I'm, rant is over. Just trying to shed some light here for people who may not know. All right, that's all we got right here. I haven't had a bite in a while. All right, well, it's like thoroughly dusk now, and like the dusk bite didn't happen. Oh no, it seemed like it slowed down towards the end there. But yeah, we started this day musky fishing, thinking we were on our way to the trout grounds when, you know, heard that the beach had some fish. So all in all, it wasn't bad, you know, it definitely wasn't bad. Got into some fat schoolies and kind of enjoyed it on the light tackle so i don't know that's all we got hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it was something you know so i'll see you guys next time